Hello everybody and welcome in today's video. In today's video we are going to have a look at the Prime XPT exchange but this time not at the desktop version on your web browser. No, we are going to have a look at the Prime XPT mobile application which makes it possible for you to trade on the go and to check your co-vesting earnings also your staking earnings of course if you are using the prime xpt exchange and in today's video i'm going to show you exactly how you can use the prime xpt exchange for your trading so guys let's dive straight into it in this video tutorial you will learn how you can download the app how you can open a account, how you can claim a bonus that the Prime XPT exchange is offering to all the viewers of the blockchain today. You will learn how to open a close a trade and how to navigate within the Prime XPT mobile application. And guys, we have a little disclaimer before jumping into the app. Uh, I am an affiliate partner of the Prime XPT exchange, which means that if you are using my affiliate link down below to sign up on the Prime XPT platform, I will earn a small commission. But if you use that sign up link to join the Prime XPT exchange, you will get a additional bonus. And right now the Prime XPT exchange is offering a 25% discount on the fees for yeah, all the time that you are using the Prime XPT exchange. So if you are interested in this bonus, if you want to help out the channel, make sure to scroll below this video and to sign up using the affiliate link down below. Then guys, let's jump into the Prime XPT mobile application. So guys, to download the Prime XPT application, you need to go to the Play Store or to the App Store. And right here, you will need to go to Prime XPT. And there you will find the option to download the Prime XPT application. I've already downloaded it right here. So I can just click on open and it will open the Prime XPT exchange. As you may notice in the App Store, we can find two Prime XPT applications. We have one with the white logo and one with the gray logo. And the one with the gray logo is to view your positions and to also have a look at your co-vesting uh, earnings and so on. However, if you want to open a trade, uh, you will need to download the upper Prime XPT application with the white logo. And guys, for the ones that are not f so familiar yet with the Prime XPT platform, the Prime XPT is a cryptocurrency exchange where you can trade next to cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum and a variety of altcoins also the regular financial markets and commodities such as gold and next to trading cryptocurrencies and trading these financial instruments prime xbt is also offering some different functionalities like co-vesting where you can copy other traders and basically earn bitcoin based on their trades and recently they've also launched their staking platform which makes it possible to stake your cryptocurrency over on the prime xpt exchange as well if you want to create an account you go below and you click on sign up what you will need to fill in is your email a password and your telephone number that is uh, all the information that you basically need to open an account there is no kyc process which is also nice for the prime xpt exchange and guys do make sure if you want to create an account and get that extra bonus uh, to scroll below this video and to use the specific sign up link that is being shown below this video to get that 25 percent discount on your fees in our case we already have an account so we will just be logging in right here so once you've logged in to the application of the Prime XPT Exchange, I will quickly go through the bottoms that we are seeing right here. First of all, the home screen is the screen where you can see um, yeah, your funds, which you have basically right now in your wallet or in your margin account. Then in the left upper corner, you have the bottom to see your account details or to set certain settings. Also the logout button. Uh, next to that on the right side, you have a customer help button here you can ask questions if you have uh, any problems regarding the prime xpt mobile application or with the prime xpt exchange in general the good thing with prime xpt exchange guys is that they have a 24 7 live customer support service then on the right side you can see your activity then guys at the bottom of the page we have three buttons the left bottom is the home bottom where we are looking at right now where we can basically see um yeah our funds then when we go to trade which is the middle bottom it will bring you 
to the section where you can actually open positions. Here we can see our margin account. We can go to certain markets. We can have a look at the chart. We can also see our open positions and so on right here. Then on the right side, we have the deposit sections. And here you can deposit crypto in order to trade with. And the nice thing with Prime XPT platform as well is that you can deposit multiple crypto so we could for example deposit usdc tokens right here but we can also deposit bitcoin in today's video we will be depositing bitcoin into our account right here so if you want to deposit Bitcoin into your account, you can just copy the Bitcoin address presented right here or you can scan the QR code. At least you have to send the Bitcoin to this address if you want them to appear in your Prime XPT account. If you want to send another cryptocurrency, you can just go back right here and you can choose between Bitcoin, US dollar Tether, Ethereum, COV token or USDC coin. Then guys, let's go to the trade section of this mobile application. Then before we are going to open a trade over on the Prime XPT application, I'm going to show you exactly how you can act activate the 25% discount on your fees. And you do that right here at the bottom of the page on the enter promo code. There you can fill in the following promo code, which is blockchain25. You tap the blue button right there and you will get a 25% discount on your fees. Then guys, before we can actually open a trade right here, we need to fund our margin account with the deposit that we just made. So for that, we click right here on fund account. Then you can see that in our Bitcoin wallet is 0.1 Bitcoin. That is what we just deposited. And right now we need to fund that into our margin account. So right here we can click on max. Then we can click on transfer. And right now we have 0.1 Bitcoin into our margin account then guys when we want to open a trade we go right here to the next section which is markets and here we can see basically uh, yeah all the trading pairs that prime xpt is offering so we get um bitcoin dogecoin polka dot but the nice thing with prime xpt is that next to trading bitcoin or altcoins against us dollar they are offering a lot of altcoin pairs to trade against bitcoin so we get cardano against bitcoin Polkadot against Bitcoin, Ethereum against Bitcoin. So those are quite interesting contracts. And if we scroll down below, we can see we have some Forex pairs right here. We got the Euro. Um, and if you scroll down below, we can even see like the more traditional assets like um, the S&P 500 or the NASDAQ or the Dow Jones right here. But let's for this example, guys, let's go and open a trade over on Bitcoin US dollar. So therefore we click right here on Bitcoin US dollar. It will bring us to the chart. So right here we can see the Bitcoin chart and we have a couple of buttons right here on the left upper corner. You can change the time frame where you are looking at. So for example, let's set it at a one hour chart. Then it will switch to a one hour time frame. The bottom next to it is the candlestick pattern. So if we want to change it to a line chart, that is possible as well. But normally I'm using a candle chart. And next to that, we also can use certain indicators. Like for example, if you want to use the relative strength index, we can activate that right here. And then you will see that below the chart. And the cool thing, because this is an integration from TradingView, is that you can customize everything. So right here, we can adjust the style of the relative strength index as well. So it is a little bit better visible. We make it an orange line. And then below, we can see two big bottoms. We have a sell order and we have a buy order. Well, depending if you want to long or short Bitcoin, for shorting Bitcoin, you click on a sell order and for longing Bitcoin, you click on a buy order. Well, when we have a look at the relative strength index here, we can see that um, we are quite o almost oversold on the one hour time frame. So for this purpose, let's uh, open a sell order right here on Bitcoin. Let's open a short position. So we tap right here on sell order. Then guys, right here, you can select the order type and you have a market order and a limit order. And a market order is a order that will be executed directly at the best available market price. And a limit order is a order that will be executed at a certain limit price. But in this example, guys, we are going to open a trade with a market order as it is a little bit easier. Then we can set the amount right here. Well, let's set the amount at 0 0.2 Bitcoin. 
Then below we can set the stop loss or a take profit. Well, let's do that guys. If you want to set a stop loss, which means that if the price of Bitcoin would continue to go up, we want to be stopped out of our trade in order to reduce the potential losses that we made. So let's say if Bitcoin is going to the level of 51,500, we are going to, to be stopped out of our trade. Then below we can also see the projected loss. If we were to reach that stop loss, then below we can set a take profit, which means that if the Bitcoin price hits a certain level, we want to take automatically profits on a trade. So let's do that as well. Let's set a take profit. If the price of Bitcoin would reach, for example, 50,000. 800 us dollars then we will be um, closing this trade with a profit a projected profit as you can see right here below so right now to open this order we click on send order then guys in the next step we can see our short position right here and if you click on it you can either modify it or you can close it so right now for illustration purposes let's close this trade we can close the whole amount right here with a market order, close position, confirm. Right now the order is filled and our position is closed and we are out of our short position right now. So guys, it's pretty straightforward. That's basically how it works. If we now want to take our funds from our margin account and want to put it back in our normal wallet, we click right here on withdraw. Then we can see we have 0.099 Bitcoin in our margin wallet. We want to withdraw everything to our Bitcoin wallet. Then we click right here on max. Then we click on transfer. And right now when we go back to the home section, we can see that we have 0.099 BTC in our Bitcoin wallet. If you want to withdraw that, you can click on it. Then right here we click on withdraw. So right here you can select the wallet where you want to withdraw your Bitcoin to and you can choose a wallet which you already have been saving over on the Prime XPT platform but you can of course also add a new address right here. Then you can select that address then you can set the amount of Bitcoin you want to withdraw and then right below you can click on confirm. So guys, the Prime XPT application is pretty straightforward and can come in handy if you want to open a trade but you are not at home and you don't have access to your computer or you just simply want to monitor how your co-vesting results are doing or how your positions are doing when they are open. Guys, if you want to create an account over on the Prime XPT exchange, make sure to use the affiliate link down below to get your 25% discount on the fees. If you like today's video and you learned something, make sure to leave that thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload a a new video if you want to learn more about how the prime xbt exchange is working on the desktop i've made multiple tutorials on that you can find them in the information section guys i want to wish every single one of you a awesome day today and i hope to see every single one of you in the next video